Ready? We're ready. <laughs> Roll them. <laughs> My name is Mary Eshelman. I was born April 22, 1921, in Schuylkillhaven, Pennsylvania. I have a very small family because I was the only child. Everybody in the family, they worked the railroad. <laughs> we were just ordinary people. When I was a child, we had the first radio in our neighborhood because the kids would all come in <laughs> at Christmas time. Santa Claus would come on the radio at, I guess it was five o'clock, I don't remember. Goodness gracious, it seems as though I was always in trouble and I don't know why. There was a friend of mine that lived just across the street, you might as well say. When we'd have a study hall, we'd sneak over to her place and have a cigarette and a Coke and then go back to school. <laughs> First job I had, I worked in the five and 10. I earned 25 cents an hour. It was a big store. And you, co you didn't just have one or two counters, you covered the whole store. Well, I came down to Reading to a business school, and that's where I met the man who became my husband. Well, when I first saw him, I didn't have a very good opinion. <laughs> of course I thought he was handsome, and he was tall. It, it, it was just taken for granted, I guess. I mean, I, I can't say that there was just a certain point that somebody said, will you marry me? And I can't even say that. It's just, that's just the way it was. <laughs> I was listening to the radio, and the song we were playing was uh, My Mama Didn't Told Me. And they broke in to announce Pearl Harbor. A Japanese attack upon Pearl Harbor. The and then, of course, he went in the Army, ended up, when war was over, he was over in Okinawa. Well, David was born first. January the 8th, 1943. <laughs> and Eric was born January the 2nd, 1953. I was scared to death. I never had a, held a baby until I had David. But I was such, you know, such an easy child to handle and youth to handle that, you know, uh, she could have never had an embarrassing moment with me. And, uh, <laughs> embarrassing? <laughs> Yeah, I have a number of embarrassments. <laughs> She's been a wonderful mother. We couldn't have asked for, for a better mother. Um, and as I think as I said earlier, she's always looked out for our best interests, as you know, as any good mother you would expect her to do. My name is Mary Eshelman, and this is my life. <laughs>